What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with Five Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Leo, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is Truth Hidden for a sign of Leo. It's going to resonate with Leo in any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Fame, and Hinder, Jupiter charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. One message may apply. Two may apply. Or two plus may apply. Leo, you may be emotional over person, people, place, or situation, or someone may be emotional over you, or you might be dealing with someone with addictions, or you may have addictions, because when that happens, it could signify emotional instability, either in you or somebody you're connected to, or addictions, either in you or somebody you're connected to, so you plug it in, how it resonates in your own life. Um, but yeah, this is truth hidden. This is basically what someone in your life doesn't want you to know. It can be anybody, a friend, a neighbor, a co-worker. Uh, former co-worker, lover, former lover, uh, friend, friend of me, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Any freaking body, okay? I did get uh, a channeling as I was meditating on your energy, and I heard um, uh, someone's plastic surgery is about to go awry, and I heard a motor vehicle accident coming soon. Um, this is what someone in your life doesn't want you to know. So um, I think... It's not you, the motor vehicle accident is going to happen to. I think it's somebody you're connected to um, in some shape, form, or fashion, possibly is what I'm thinking for some, um, because it's what they don't want you to know. Um, it's somebody in your life doesn't want you to know. So I think it's somebody you're connected to who's about to get into this motor vehicle accident. Um, and for some, they don't want you to know their plastic surgery is about to go awry. Um, it sounds like either one of those has not happened in the universe yet. Um, it sounds like they might try to hide the motor vehicle accident from you and try and hide the plastic surgery going awry from you when it happens is what I'm feeling. Um, for some, you might end up finding out uh, through series of chain events, possibly. But I do feel for at least two of you, um, or maybe one with both situations, somebody's going to try to hide the fact that their plastic surgery is uh, about to go awry and they're about to get into a motor vehicle accident. Uh, however that applies in one's life. That's too many. Spirit message is you have some Leo. Uh, I encourage everybody to check out their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, and Midhaven uh, charts. Um, if you don't want to check them all out, I would definitely encourage at least the Sun, Moon, Rising, um, and Venus signs. Or the Sun, Moon, Rising, and um, North Node signs. Of course, everybody has free will, and you don't have to if you don't want to. Um, thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. We're 12,635 subscribers. If you think anyone uh, would like my channel, please feel free to share my channel uh, very publicly on social media and word of mouth. I very much appreciate it. It helps support a single mama, one of her income streams. So I very much appreciate it, you guys. Spirit messages you have, Salio. Wow, you might be stubborn or somebody you're connected to might be stubborn. It's taken me forever to get these cards out. Good Lord. Okay. So we have Crow, Lantern, The Dark, Anxiety, The Kingdom. For some, you could be dealing with air sign. If you are, they have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Fame, and Hamer, Jupiter charts. If you are, possibly. Feeling for some, you might be. Um, also, number 18 could be a very significant number in one's life, possibly. Number 18, it could be um, a significant number in some shape, form, or fashion. Possible age of you or someone you're connected to or some other kind of significant number in your life in some shape, form, or fashion. The Crow. Someone is about to see a black crow and get confirmation in the 3D and take action. And someone has completely transformed their life. 
Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So um, this is what someone in your life in some shape or fashion doesn't want you to know, Leo. For some of you guys, you have to plug it in how it resonates. For some of you guys, somebody's about to see a Black Crow confirmation in the 3D and take great action. So Black Crow confirmation for someone you're connected to soon is what it sounds like. Sounds like that hasn't happened yet. Sounds like it's about to. Now, whatever great action they're going to take, I'm not sure. Only they know their story, not anybody else. But they definitely don't want you to know that um, it sounds like they're about to see uh, they're about to see a black crow in the physical 3D confirmation, uh, three 3D world, their 3D world, and they're about to take great action. I think it's about to scare some of them. I think it's about to scare them in some shape, form, or fashion, and that's why it's going to cause them to take great action in some shape, form, or fashion. For some, I heard um, someone has transformed their entire life. So they have transformed their entire life. They don't want you to know this. So for some, I feel it could be an air sign that's transformed their entire life or an air sign that's about to see um, the black crow, possibly. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. Now, for anybody who doesn't know, I got the black crow, um, I think that was in Libra's reading, I think. I think it was Libra's. Truth Hidden, it was another Truth Hidden I did already. I think it was Libra's, but you'll have to go back and check it. Somebody else is uh, Truth Hidden. We got the Black Crow in the same exact message about somebody's about to see a Black Crow and take great action, basically. Um, I think it was Libra's. You can go back and check Libra's if you're interested. But I'm going to look up Black Crow symbolism because I did in that other reading too, and I'll read it. Black crow symbolizes prophecy, transformation, change, and freedom. So they're about to get confirmation in the 3D of seeing a black crow, whoever this person or people are that's about to see this black crow, Leo. Um, and it's going to cause them to take great action. I think a prophecy might be uh, might come true, and then they see the black crow, and then they um, take great action. Or they get a wake-up call about transformation, change, and freedom, and it causes them to take great action. Something of that nature. Um, only this person or people know their story, not anybody else, okay? Lantern. Someone doesn't want you to know that you are a huge light to the world for some. Severely wanted to dim your light. For some, they're about to. For some, they've tried and it has backfired. Oh, Lord. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So if this message applies for you, Leo, someone doesn't want you to know someone in your life, energetic space, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But you're basically a great light to the world. So you are a beacon of hope and light and inspiration to the world is what I'm feeling here. Um, you, Whoever you are, high vibrational, I'm feeling with this. You are high vibrational. And you basically shine your positive light energy out to the world in a very positive, copacetic manner. Um, very positively and copacetic. You are a beacon. Uh, I feel your guiding light and a beacon and a positive beacon of hope and inspiration to others is what I'm feeling. But somebody doesn't want you to know this. I heard for some, they've already, um, they're, they have tried to stop your light and it's about to backfire on them. For some, they're about to stop your light. So for some... They've got some kind of power or dominance or think they have power and dominance over you and they're going to try to stomp your light out, basically. Um, for some, for some, they've tried to stomp your light out and it's about to backfire on them. So this aspect, this is your light. You are a positive, copacetic light and beacon out to the universe. Um, whatever you do and how this applies, but it's in a very positive, high vibrational way, I'll tell you that. But this is what somebody doesn't want you to know, that basically they're trying to stomp your light out, they're or about to stomp your light out, or they're going to, they're, they try to stomp your light out, and it's about to backfire. How that resonates. For some, it could be an air sign that's um, attempted this, or is trying to do this, or is doing this, or what have you. The dark. Someone really did not want you to know about dark magic and dark arts. Some, you're about to research it. Some, you already know, and you're sharing it with information with others, and it pisses some people off to no end. Oh, Lord, so you plug it in how it resonates. 
So if this resonates for you, Leo, some people didn't want you to know about dark arts, um, dark side of the universe, uh, low vibrational energy, that kind of thing. Um, they didn't want you to know about dark arts, dark magic, um, um, that kind of thing, uh, black magic, that kind of thing. For some, I heard um, you already know about it and you're sharing the information to others and it basically pisses people, person or people off. For some, you're about to research the dark arts and uh, educate yourself on it. So only you know your story, not anybody else. You plug it in how it resonates. But in this aspect, this is um, person or people not wanting you to know about the dark arts um, and black magic and things like that. Now you have to plug yourself in where you fit um, do you know about dark arts and black magic or do you not? Um, are you going to research it or do you already know and you're sharing it out like a beacon of light to others? How that resonates. For some, it can be an air sign that does, didn't want you to know it or doesn't want you to share the information or what have you. For one Leo tarot card reader, an air sign is going to contact you soon, trying to bully you. It'd be smart to screenshot these messages and forward them to federal agents. Oh, my Lord. You plugged in how it resonates. Oh, my Lord. Okay, so I was feeling air sign energy in here, strong and heavy. Um, okay, so for one of you guys, you're a Leo reader. Um, you are a tarot card reader, I'm feeling, or a light side spiritualist. I heard a reader, so I think you're a tarot card reader, or a light side spiritualist, or a psychic investigator, or whatever, what, what you call, whatever you call yourself. Um, but you work in the spiritual realm, light worker esque energy, whoever you are. You have Leo in your charts in some shape, form, or fashion. Leo in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, moon, Jupiter your your charts. But I heard an air sign is about to contact you soon. So they, this air sign doesn't want you to know they're about to contact you soon. I heard they're going to try to bully and harass you. Now, I'm not sure how they're going to try to bully and harass you. Only you will know that when it happens, not anybody else. It sounds like it hasn't happened yet. It sounds like it's about to. Leo Reader, this particular message is for you. But I heard also through Spiritual Download that when it happens, it'd be smart basically to screenshot the conversation and forward it to federal agents. So I think this air sign is a criminal in some shape, form, or fashion. And I think for some, you're highly intuitive and you know this. Um, I didn't hear this part, but this is just from me. I think it'd be smart to give minimal conversation to this air sign. Um, minimal, very minimal. That way you have all the documentation on your screenshots where you did not engage in negative ways and then forward that shit to federal agents. That's what I would do. But of course you can take the advice or leave it, okay? Um, whoever you are, Leo reader, and how this resonates, but I think you know this air sign is a criminal, but they're about to try to reconnect with you, but they're going to do it through bullying and harassment and like strong arm and maybe abuse of power kind of tactics. But if it was me, I would do very minimal conversation with this person or cut it off and then just forward the messages to federal agents. Of course, you can listen to the advice and the spiritual downloads or not, um, but that could be the dark energy too. Um, the dark energy of this air sign about to come towards you in a negative, bullying, harassing um, type of way. Um, I heard to be smart to forward the message or messages to federal agents. If you do this, it will really, really, really help. Know this. If you do this, it will really, really, really help know this. So if you, I'm assuming if you do minimal conversation, don't backlash, don't backbite on this person, don't go cray cray in the messages, keep it minimal and simple, and then, or cut, or not communicate, and then just forward them to federal agents, it will really, really, really help. That's for a Leo reader, if that resonates for you, Leo reader. You can have Leo in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, moon, Hammer, Jupiter chart, mass, mass, or feminine energy, whoever you are. But it's an air sign about to do this towards you. Uh, with bullying, harassment, har uh, abrasement, abuse of power and authority, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, whoever you are, Leo reader. Anxiety. Someone has serious, serious, serious anxiety of the past. There are many series of chain of events. It's about to come out in the 3D soon. They will not be able to hide it. 
because something huge is about to happen in their life negatively. This person betrayed you in a huge way in the past. A huge way. Oh, Lord. So you plug in and help resonate. So this is what this person doesn't want you to know. That they have, and I didn't hear a sign on this person. For some, it could be an air sign. For some, it could be any other sign. But it's somebody that's about to have huge, and they have already have huge anxiety. Uh, they betrayed you in some kind of shape, form, or fashion in the past. I don't think it's a baby betrayal. I think it's a huge-ass betrayal whoever this person or people are and how it applies. But I heard soon they're about to have huge anxiety out in the 3D. So out in their physical 3D world. I feel for some it might be public energy. Um, I feel for some it's going to be public. Um, I didn't hear it was, but I'm feeling for some it might be. And I heard it's going to be so, like, so exposed. And that's why I feel it's public too for some. Um, that it's going to come out whether they want it to or not. Like it is just going to come out whether they want to or not. Because something's about to happen to them in the physical 3D world. So, um, so I, I think something negatively is about to happen to them in the physical 3D world. And that's why um, they already have anxiety over you, Leo, and over situation or et cetera, et cetera, because they betrayed you in such a huge way in the past. But something else is about to happen to them in their physical 3D world where it's about to make it come out even more is what I'm feeling. Um, it, I'm thinking they are dark arts spiritualist or a they practice on the dark side or live on the dark side in some shape form or fashion however that resonates the kingdom For one, Leo, you helped completely demolish a dark arts coven. Know this. Oh, my Lord. Wow, that's a great one. So you plug it in and how it resonates. So you go with your badass self, whoever you are, Leo. For one of you guys, I heard you completely helped demolish a dark arts coven. It sounds like a dark arts coven of the past. Well, a coven is a dark art. It's dark magic. Black magic. Uh, black magic coven. Um, somebody helped demolish or demolish a freaking black magic coven of the past. Um, somebody doesn't want you to know this. It might be an air sign doesn't want you to know this, but somebody doesn't want you to know that you basically either single-handedly did it or helped freaking smash a dark arts coven. I don't think physically, you didn't physically go around beating people up, but somehow you helped demolish a dark arts coven. But somebody or a group or this coven doesn't want you to know this but that's wonderful and i think it's the coven that has anxiety because you help demolish their evil dark arts ways um with the dark energy yeah holy crap man you should be so proud of yourself oh my god i heard you should be so proud of yourself you should be so proud of yourself leo um, I don't know if you did it single-handedly or if it was a series of chain of events or what have you, but you go with your badass self if that resonates for you, Leo. Just saying. But obviously, this Dark Arts Coven doesn't want you to know this. Um, obviously. And probably others, too. Um, that's beautiful. Let me see if I hear anything else. Wow. I love Leo energy. It's really wonderful when you hone it in a positive way. Just saying. And whoever you are, uh, Dark Arts Coven Smasher over here, apparently you have. Just saying, just saying. A dirty corporate underground sex initiation ring is about to be exposed. Oh my God, you plug it in, how it resonates. A dirty corporate underground sex operation ring is about to be exposed. Holy shit, you plug it in, how it resonates. A, so this is what someone or some people or a group or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, doesn't want you to know. A, a dirty sex underground corporate under, dirty uh, corporate sex underground ring is about to be exposed soon. Say that five times fast. Um, so the kingdom in this energy, um, the kingdom in this situation is the dirty corporate sex 
underground sex ring. Um, I feel for some, you're about to help expose it or you are exposing it or you gave information to expose it or you're about to. Um, somebody doesn't want you to know that this um, underground, dark arts, corporate sex ring is about to be exposed or you help expose it or you're about to. How that resonates and it gives them anxiety um, because you're helping expose this shit. Wow, man, this is great. <laughs> wow, let me see if I hear anything else. Now, Leo's empire is about to be solidified through many series of chain of events. Uh, Leo's empire is about to be solidified through many series of chain of events. Well, that, they don't, somebody doesn't want you to know that. Um, so you plug in and how it resonates. Uh, Leo's empire is about to be solidified through many series of chain of events. So your kingdom, your empire, Leo, it's about to be solidified through many series of chain of events. I think it gives people anxiety that it's about to be solidified. Now, for anybody who doesn't know, solidified is basically, um, it's about to be set in stone. It's about to be, um, uh, like earth sign energy. It's about to be solid and fortified and, um, it's about to take roots and grow, is what I'm feeling. Uh, it's about to really be known, your empire. Um, whoever you are and how this resonates. Whatever empire that is for you. Um, I feel in home structure or structures or family life or business or businesses or maybe a combination. You plug it in, how it resonates. Wow, that's beautiful. All right, I love you guys so much. Um, if you think anyone else would like my videos, please feel free to share my videos on your social media and word of mouth. I very much appreciate it. It helps support a single mom with two kids and her one of her income streams. I very much appreciate it. Love you guys. Namaste.